All right, guys, we're going to quickly try to snap through this um, hybrid animal lesson one. Objectives are going to be duplicate layers using the eraser tool, clone stamp tool, blend modes for layers, and then Gaussian blur for accent layers. Okay. Also, maybe some shadows and other things to make your picture look a little bit more snappy. Okay. So for starters, you need to find a picture of an animal. Okay. I'm going to use a tiger and a parrot. So uh, first things first is you need to select uh, the outline of your animal and just copy and paste it away by itself so it looks like this. Okay. Um, so just get your animal alone without outside of the background. Make sure you hit that refine edge button up here. Okay. Once you have a selection, refine that edge so you have a nice looking edge. <clears throat> Next is you got to decide on what animal you want to morph it with. Okay. So. Um, you know, get the head, get a certain part of the animal that you want to work with, and then uh, decide on how you're going to morph them together. Okay, so what we're going to want to do first is um, kind of size this up. When we're thinking about uh, hybrids and thinking about morphing two images together, uh, you want to can include uh, proportion, size, obviously, and, um, you know, angle is important. Okay, so because I have this kind of tiger looking at us at an angle, I wanted a parrot head to be fitting that same kind of angle. And if I could match the shoulder to the, of this bird to the shoulder of the, of the tiger, that'd be great. Okay, so I'm going to increase the size slightly to this. Okay, and I think that lines up pretty good. Okay, I'm going to double click on that to apply it. And then um, I think that's lined up pretty well, and now I can do some editing. So what I want to do first is duplicate both of these. So that's number one our lesson is duplication. What you can do with, on a Mac to duplicate is hold on the control key and then click on your layer and then duplicate layer. That's one quick way to do it. Or you can simply take your layer and drag it down. I like to call it the copy paper and drag it. That's another way to uh, duplicate a layer. <clears throat> Many different ways to do things in Photoshop. Okay, so now what we need to do is start editing this piece. All right, so let's, um, we need to use the eraser tool and clone stamp tool to get started. Okay, so what we want to do is open that guy back up, open him back up, and uh, let's get started. All right, so these are just backups. We're going to use these layers as backups because we might uh, need to tweak some things here and there. The eraser tool, let's set that up first. Let's go to a soft eraser, round eraser. Uh, brush and then um, 86. Oh, that's about right. It looks about right. I changed my, I switched my opacity to 50% and then my flow, maybe let's bump up to 30. We want to be subtle with this. You know, I'm thinking that the opacity may be closer to 80. Okay, and you can play around with it. Um, you know, just for fun, I'm going to duplicate this one more time because who knows? I just, I want to be safe. I don't want to have to change a lot of things later on. So let's make a couple duplicates. All right, we can always trash them if we don't want them. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start editing this guy. Erase the hard edge. We don't want hard edges, okay, because we want this to be looking realistic. Oh, you know what? I need to bump that. Oh, I'll keep it. That's all right. I'll keep it. I'll do some editing later on. I was going to say I don't want that wing showing up there, but we'll do some editing later on and make it look, make it work, okay? <clears throat> So what I'll do is, uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later, but use the clone stamp tool and attack it with the clone stamp tool. Okay, so that looks pretty good for right now. Um, now what we can do with the, the tiger head, we need to get this stuff out of there. So I'm going to select this tiger, and, and what I'm going to do is I don't want to erase anything inside here. So what I'm going to do is hold on the command key and select just the head. I'm going to go to select inverse because I don't want to select anything inside the head. I want to make it so that it's outside of the head within this selection. So now I'm going to make sure my tiger is selected and then I'm just going to start erasing it. Erasing it and it's not going to go inside my bird. It's not going to go anywhere else like that. So um, looking pretty good. Yep. Make sure you keep these eyes closed because we don't want to see those. We don't want to apply anything yet. Okay, we can always use that stuff later on, but we don't, we don't, want, to, we don't want to use it now. Okay, Apple D, okay, for deselect or select, deselect. That'll get rid of your marching ants. All right, that's looking pretty good. I don't like this area here, so let's use 
um, the clone stamp tool. Okay, so we use the eraser. We're doing some editing with the eraser tool. Now we're going to use the clone stamp tool. Okay, so uh, let's go to our bird layer. And what we're going to do is use the clone stamp tool. Make sure we have opacity at 100 to 100. And I want a soft brush, round, with the size of 50. That looks pretty good. So now I'm, what I'm going to do is select just an area here to kind of copy over here because I don't want that to show too much. I want that to be kind of unified. Okay, take it down like that. I think that looks pretty good. We can maybe add a little bit more little bright kind of feathers in through there. And we can always blend it later a little bit better, but that's looking pretty good. I always recommend to, you know, we want that muscle to show up. So that was a nice choice, I think, with the highlight. That was a good choice there. Um, you always want to, whenever you do that, though, with this, with clone stamp or anything, start a new layer. I kind of applied it to this layer, but it's always good to work on a new new layer, okay? So uh, we won't, we'll trash that right now, but keep that in mind when you're working. I also don't like these whiskers, okay? So I need to fix those whiskers. I'm going to go back to my lion, or sorry, tiger, and I'm going to uh, use a clone stamp tool. Let me, let me close down the eye on my bird here. And... Hold down the Alt key, remember with the clone stamp tool to select an area. And now I'm just going to brush in, kind of get rid of those whiskers. Start here, and you want to kind of line up the stripes. That's what I like about this new CS5 clone, stool, clo clone tool, is that uh, it shows you kind of where you're applying that, that brush. It's kind of nice. Okay. And that's going to be, for the most part, covered up anyway. I'm not too concerned about that. So looking pretty good. Now those whiskers are gone. Don't need to worry about those. Okay. A couple things now for editing. Let's let's talk about um, let's talk about blend modes uh, for layers and Gaussian and blur. Okay. So blend modes. Uh, let's do some things. Let's do some creative things with um, the blend modes. Now I want to. What do I want to do? I want to. Let's say I want to create a highlight on this beak make it look like there's a reflected light. So what I'm going to do is create a new layer because I always want to work on a new layer. Bring it, let's bring it to the top. Okay. And now I'm just going to create a new kind of shape. You can do this many different ways. You can use, create a selection. You can create a shape from the shape tool, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to make a loose kind of shape like that. Okay. And I'm going to fill it in with white. All right. I don't want the selection there because I want to apply a blur to it now. So I'm going to deselect, deselect that. So now I'm going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Okay, apply a little Gaussian blur, make it look faded on the edge. You can play around with the radius if you want to, but I think what I have here is pretty good. I like that. All right, so now if we go to the blend modes, blend modes are up here. You can also, I think that is, you can also apply a blending mode um, under, hmm, layer I believe um, right let me get back to you on that one <laughs> but anyway the blend modes here are here and let's try to go to soft light and that'll just kind of lighten up that area you can uh, overlay typically overlays one image on the layer underneath it okay so you can see what kind of effect that has it's kind of bright to me I like the soft light a little bit better a little bit less harsh if you don't, if you think it's too harsh, take the eraser back onto it, and just kind of touch it up with the eraser, and that looks pretty good. I mean, I like that little highlight effect here, not here, here, not here. You can see the difference. Okay, so it looks pretty good. All right. Um, so there is blend modes. You can play around with those. Uh, there's a lot of different options for you, um, and it, it kind of depends on what kind of effect you want. Whether you want to make a color more saturated, whether you want to create a shadow. It depends on what you want to do. All right, um, one more thing. Let's create some tiger stripes along the neck. Okay, so I'm going to create a new layer. And now I'm going to use my clone stamp tool. I want to select from the tiger just a portion of this back hind leg here because I want that angle of the stripes to be the same as up here. So I'm going to hold down the Alt key, click an area, this hind end, and then I'm going to click on my new layer and then kind of brush that in. You know, I want some stripes. I want it to look realistic, kind of, you know. All 
I can also always erase this. I'm going to make a new selection here. And, oops, sorry. I need to go back to my tiger, make a new selection, go to here, and then kind of brush that area in. I like it because it kind of connects to the layers, the, the stripes on the, the bird's face. Okay, so now if I want to need to touch that up a little bit. So I, I applied it with the clone stamp tool, but now I need to go back in and make adjustments with the eraser. Okay, we're talking about uh, we want to make this look realistic. So with a very low flow opacity, okay, I want to touch that back up there. Hit hit some few areas, kind of bring it back a little bit. This area didn't really work out too well, so I'm going to take that back. Okay, hit it, make it look believable. Okay, hit it up. That's looking pretty good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hold down Command, click on my bird head here, go to Select, Inverse, and because there's a little bit of area right, right out here, I need to get rid of that. Okay, so right out there like that. It kind of bled in, so I need to fix that up. Okay, there we go. That looks a lot better. Now I could play around with the blend modes on this one. What happens if I apply overlay? You see, you can see what kind of changes there. All right, a soft light. So you have to play around um, with a good effect. That's not really all that believable. It could be that we just are going to use a normal blend mode and maybe just play with the opacity. Well, that looks pretty good. I mean, I don't want much of the orange there. I just want pretty much the stripes. So um, you can see what the different items do. That's not too bad, but, um, you know, play around. Kind of like that effect. Color burn might work, but. Best bet is probably do the, the normal. Or an overlay. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, play around with it. Good luck. That's lesson number one. Uh, have fun.